yo what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and today guys i will be showing you the easiest and fastest way on how to get all these colored joggers but if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification as well let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video the requirements are you need to register as ceo and call up your mobile operations center if you do not have a mobile operations center you can always tell a friend to call up his so guys Call up your mobile operation center and register as CEO and enter the cab of the mobile operation center. And the black joggers does not delete outfits, by the way, if you're new um, trying to get black joggers. So after you do enter the cab, there should be a device, a touchscreen device all the way inside of your mobile operation center. So continue to walk all the way to you find this little touchscreen device. It should be like on the wall, the left side or the right side of the wall. Once you do find the touchscreen device, basically push right on the D-pad. And once you push right on the D-pad, go to work dispute and launch the mission and accept alert and confirm it. Basically, you're going to load into the job menu like this. On the difficulty, put it on easy. And after you put it on easy, confirm settings and invite a random or a friend. It doesn't matter. So launch it, push play, and basically you're going to launch into the mission and you and your buddy are going to be inside of the plane. So make sure both of y'all get out of the plane so the mission won't fail. So with you getting the black joggers, basically make your way over to your apartment. On this part, guys, your apartment won't show on the map. But as long as you know where your apartment is, make sure you go to your apartment. So get out of the plane like this, fly out, both of y'all, and make your way over to your apartment so we can see this as an outfit. And if you do not know where your apartment is, basically just open up your phone and you could go to Dynasty 8 and try to find the location like that. But And if you do die during your trip to your apartment, it's fine. We do have lives like two extra lives so once you do find your location of your house basically get out of your oppressor get off your oppressor and basically you're going to want to pull out an rpg if you do not have an rpg pull out a homie missile or a sticky bomb whatever explosive so pull out your explosive walk directly into the blue marker like this directly into it and kill yourself with the explosive so after you kill yourself, you're basically going to spawn again. And once you spawn, basically make your way into the blue marker. And it's going to let you inside of your house. So just walk into the blue marker and it's going to let you have access into your apartment. Once you do load into your apartment, this part's very simple. So you just want to make your way inside of your closet where your room is. So go to your room. And once you're inside of your room, go to your wardrobe slash closet. So once you're inside of your closet, basically go to your shoe section and change the shoes. And you should have no ankles with the black joggers like this. So go to shoes. And once you go to shoes, you can see how my ankles are gone. Just put on any shoes. It doesn't matter. And after you've done that, basically save this as an outfit one time or two times, depending on you. So I always save it one time. So after you've done, save this as an outfit one time. So basically, all you want to do is just open up your pause menu and put find new session and you will be spawning with the black joggers. If the job work dispute is locked for you in the beginning, basically just go to your bunker and do some bunker work, like some research and it will unlock for you trust me that's how you unlock it so after you do load into this session with your black joggers you could do whatever with the outfit you could customize it you could take out the vest it's all yours because you already saved it but yeah guys today i'm gonna be showing y'all on how to get tan joggers and you could get any ceo outfit too that is very very simple this glitch is really easy just basically tell a friend to help you out so your friend is going to register as CEO and go to management and go to styles and look at here's all, all the outfits to CEO you could get like all the outfits I'm showing y'all y'all could get all these for free it's really easy it's very very easy and also you could get the tan joggers I'm gonna show you on how to get the tan joggers and if you do not like the tan joggers you could even 
these outfits. So the tan joggers are labeled underneath, I think, Warlord, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, Warlord. So make sure your friend puts it on Warlord Runners. So after your friend hires you as a CEO associate, basically, y'all both go inside of your apartment so you could do the glitch. So make him hire you as an associate of a CEO and make him go to management, make him go to style, then go down to Warlord. Find the Warlord with the tan jogger so you could do the glitch like this. Um, my friend's cycling it to he finds the warlord outfit this glitch is very simple it's all about timing so on the have you and your friend do a countdown so at zero that's when your friend quits out of the ceo so stand next to the shower inside of your house get ready to push right on the d-pad to enter the shower so have your friend count down from three to zero and on zero right before he says zero that's when you push right on the d-pad to enter the shower so like this three two one zero once it hits zero that's when you put right on the d-pad and your character enters the shower once he enters the shower that's basically when you just get out of the shower and you should have the tan joggers remember guys so at the same time so have your friend do a countdown from zero, like three, two, one, zero. Right before he says zero, you enter the shower right on the D-pad to enter the shower. And once you're in the shower, exit the shower. That's when you should know you got the tan joggers to work like this. It's very simple. Um, I got it on my first try. I remember last time it took me like over four or five tries. Only because like me and my friend were like timing the seconds perfectly to hit the glitch. But I got it on my first try. But yeah. So I will be showing you on how to get orange joggers video. Open up your pause menu. Go over to Rockstar Created. Go over down to Versus. And start up the job called Truck Off. Start it up. And basically once you do launch into the mission. You will be needing a stranger or a friend. It doesn't matter. You can always invite a stranger. The stranger will just do random stuff. So when you do load into the mission menu. Make sure you put the outfit section on themed. Okay. So you see the clothing. Put it on themed. It must be on themed. After you do invite a friend or stranger and you have the clothing on themed, all you want to do is just confirm settings and launch the mission, okay? So after you do launch the mission, you see versus outfits, you must put it on insects, okay? So put versus outfits on insects. And if you do not have the orange joggers, basically jump over to the team with the person that has orange joggers and make that person with the purple joggers jump over to the other team, okay? So, once you are on the team with the orange joggers, just ready up, have the stranger or your friend ready up as well. So, once you do both ready up, you'll be loading into the mission like this. Open up your interaction menu, go down to style, and go over to illuminated clothing and spam right on the d-pad for 2 minutes straight. You done spam 2 minutes on illuminated clothing. Basically, leave your interaction menu open and just let your character be afk it's gonna take a quite a while for your character to get kicked from the mission so just leave your character and your interaction menu alone like this so just leave them afk and make sure your the stranger or your friend does not finish the mission or kill you during the mission okay so after you do get kicked from the session you will be spawning from your last location so I had my last location inside of my facility. So I spawn with the orange joggers. On this part, guys, make sure you change a few items before you save it. So remove the mask, remove the shoes. And if you want, this is an option. You could change the torso, like the clothing of the torso. So the top, you could put like a shirt. So after you've done that, make sure you done save it and the orange joggers is all yours for the video. And today I'm going to be showing you on how to get purple joggers. It works on all platforms. You guys, go to online and you will need to go to jobs, pay jobs, go to Rockstar Created. And you will need to go down to Versus and start up Truck Off. 
once you do launch the mission all you want to do is make sure you have the outfits on themed so you see where it says clothing make sure you put it on themed okay so make sure it's on theme confirm setting invite a stranger or a friend it doesn't matter after you've done that once he does join basically just push play and launch the mission okay so guys after you do launch the mission this part's very very simple okay so basically this job all you want to do is just basically get kicked afk okay on this part guys go to versus outfits and put it on insects and make sure you have the purple joggers if you do not have the purple joggers basically jump to the team with the purple joggers okay so after you do have the purple joggers launch the mission after you do launch the mission you should be spawning inside of the mission like this all you want to do is open up your interaction menu go down to style and once you're on style scroll all the way down once again go down to illuminated clothing spam right on the d-pad for two minutes straight for illuminated clothing after it's two minutes done basically just put your controller down leave the interaction menu up do not touch the controller basically all you want to do is just get kicked for being afk and make sure your friend slash stranger that's helping you does not kill you during the mission okay or he does not finish the mission so just tell him to be afk just make sure he doesn't be kicked from the session as well so guys after you're done spam right on the deep path for illuminated clothing leave the interaction menu up and basically put your controller down and let your character get kicked from the session for being afk once your character does get kicked from the session basically it's going to launch you into a regular online session and you will be spawning with the outfit and when you do spawn into the session make sure you remove the gloves and you remove the mask and change the shoes and save this as an outfit at least two times okay remember guys so once you do load into the session you should have the purple joggers okay and make sure you do remove the gloves change the shoes and remove the mask you must do these steps in order for the purple joggers to save yo what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and today guys i'll be showing you on how to get a ceo vest with red joggers and if you're new here make sure you subscribe with the bell notification as well so you won't miss out on any video that goes live let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video the requirements for this glitch is you would need a friend or a stranger just one and your friend or stranger would need his mobile operation center and if he has a mobile operation center tell your friend or your stranger to register as ceo and to invite you to his ceo so after your friend invites you to his ceo make sure you tell your friend to enter the cab like this so tell your friend to enter the back cab so once your friend does enter the back cab like this tell your friend to go all the way down inside of his cab and go to this touchscreen device and log in so after he does log in like this make sure he goes to the mission all the way down and start up the mission called work dispute launch it and confirm the alert like this after you do launch the mission you should have the job menu like this you must put the difficulty on easy after you put the difficulty on easy, confirm the settings, make sure you are loaded in with them inside of the mission. So launch the mission. After you do launch the mission, basically y'all two will be spawning in the plane and you will be spawning with red joggers. So after it does says leave the area, make sure you and your friend both leave the plane exactly. After y'all both leave the plane, now just make your way over to your apartment so we can do the glitch. Now, you don't have to rush during this glitch. Uh, you can take your time finding your apartment. It doesn't matter. Now, after you do find your apartment, walk over to the front door and there should be a blue icon and it won't let you in. It's fine. So go to the blue icon, pull out an RPG, homing missile or sticky bomb. Go directly into the blue circle like this and just easy way out. Kill yourself right there. So after you easy way out like this, 
Basically, you should be spawning once again. After you easy way out, you will be spawning once again and make sure your friend doesn't leave during the mission or he doesn't get kicked from the mission. So after you do spawn in again, after you easy way out, make your way over to your front door and enter your apartment slash house. So guys, after you do enter your house, it will let you inside like this. So once you do load inside, you will need to make your way over to your closet. So go over to your closet. Push right on the D-pad once you're inside of your closet. Go over to shoes and make sure you change your shoes. It doesn't matter which shoes. So put on sneakers, skate shoes, sports shoes. It doesn't matter. So change your shoes. After you change your shoes, make sure you save this as an outfit twice. I always save it as an outfit twice. So once you're done, save this as an outfit twice. All you want to do is basically open up your pause menu. Go over to online. And go to find new session. So after you do put find new session. It should be spawning you inside of a public lobby or invite only session. Sometimes it will say like an error that you can join an online session. It's fine. The glitch will still work. Just basically accept the alert. If it says that you've been timed out. Just accept the alert. And you should be spawning inside of story mode. If that happens to you like this. So. Once you load into story mode, just basically go to online and play GTA online and load into an invite only session. It loads into the online servers faster. So after you do load into the lobby, basically you should be spawning with red joggers like this and you should have your CEO vest like this. Now you will be able to customize the gloves, the shoes, the mask and the helmet and this outfit is all yours. Now you have this cool red joggers and this cool CEO vest. If you have any questions, just comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Remember, subscribe if you're new with the bell notification as well. Welcome back to another video. And today, I will be showing you the easiest way on how to get great joggers. But if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification as well. Let's not waste any more time. And let's get straight into the video. The only requirement for this glitch is you will need a facility. And it doesn't matter which facility it is. And if you do not own a facility, you can always tell a friend or a stranger to lend you his. Now, register as CEO or tell your friend to register as CEO. Now, there's three different acts. So you will need to do the act three of the Doomsday Heist. So it is called the Doomsday Scenario. So start up the last Doomsday Scenario. Now, once you do start it up, you will need to make sure you have the setup called Escort ULP. Now, once you do launch it, you will need to make your way over to the difficulty and make sure the difficulty is on hard. Then make sure you go over to confirm settings. Then once you do confirm settings, you will need to invite at least one friend or a stranger to help you out. Once they do join, all you want to do is launch the mission, go over to the outfit style and make sure it's on the high tech impact. Then on the outfit, make sure it's on the machine. Now make sure you both ready up. Once you do load into the mission, all you want to do is kill yourself. Now you should see something pop up saying setup failed, but that's what we want to happen. Okay. Now, once you see the setup failed, continue with this glitch. Now you should see the job menu pop up like this. Now this part is very important. Make sure your friend or stranger presses continue. Make sure he presses continue. On the bottom right, there should be a countdown. So it should be going all the way down to zero. So once you see the countdown hit zero, you must disconnect the controller. So turn off your controller really quickly like this. Now leave your controller disconnected for at least 15 seconds. It must be at least for 15 seconds. Now once the 15 seconds is over, all you want to do is reconnect your controller and you should see your map disappear like this. So you should not have no map like this. Now, once you do have no map like this, you will need to make your way over to the closest ammunition store that's near you and make sure the friend slash stranger doesn't do anything. Once you're there, all you want to do is enter the ammunition store, go over to high gear, and purchase any earpiece. So it doesn't matter which earpiece you purchase. Now back out from the high scare, make your way out of the ammunition store 
And this part's very important as well. So the person that is helping you, make sure they close their GTA 5 application. So make sure they fully close their GTA 5 application for this glitch to work. So once they do close their GTA 5 application fully, make sure you join a friends off your friends list. Now, once you do join your friends off their friends list, a alert should pop up like this. Now, once the alert does pop up, once you do accept the alert, it should be spawning you into their same session you joined, okay? Now, once you do load into the same session, you should see the gray joggers on your outfit. Now, make sure you save this as an outfit before you start messing with it. And this part's optional as well. So after you done save this as an outfit, this part is very optional. You don't have to remove any of the tops, but if you don't like the tops or the gloves, you can remove them. I removed them. So once you do remove the shoes and change the shoes, you should see your gray pants turn into gray joggers. And don't worry guys, this does work and it does stick. But if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to miss out on any video, turn on the bell notification as well. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.